all right guys so this is where I believe this is the route that JFK and his motorcade took so there's Houston Street we're gonna make a right so the building that's right across there is where Lee Oswald shot and I believe he shot from the one, two, three, four, fourth floor or fifth floor. And uh, so the motorcade, let's actually go over here. The motorcade took a right down this street. And of course you can see everybody kind of just gathering around where people were we're kind of sitting along the grass there and sitting around here while the uh, motorcade came down the street and went out that way. So once he made that right turn onto Elm Street, he got shot, I want to say about right here. So let's come on, let's see what this is. Okay, there's nothing here. So that's it. So what happened when he got shot right here? They uh, jetted off and uh, they hit I-35 going north. Oh, okay, see where that X is? There it is. That's it, that's the place where he got shot. That's where that X is at. See, there's another X here. So I'm thinking this is where he got shot, at that X. Ain't that something, guys? But guys, I just wanted to kind of give you a little view of uh, some historical uh, events that happened in uh, American history, guys. And this is one of them, the JFK assassination right here on Elm Street. There's the, uh, there's the building that Lee Oswald shot from. So if you guys ever come down to Dallas, I recommend to uh, come down here and just kind of, you know, check it out. Yesterday they had some protest, protesters over here, guys. Uh, I'm not too sure what it was, but I think it was because of the, uh, you know, how Trump sent, how we killed that, that terrorist dude a couple of days ago. You know, these people were protesting against that. I mean, president is just trying to protect our country, guys. Come on, man. We can't be weenies. I'm gonna go ahead and write off. See what's up here. There's a building, y'all. So we're gonna stay and ride on Elm Street. This is the west end side of Dallas. There's a trolley, we're about to play some chicken with it, but not today, not today. Beautiful day, fellas, beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got some uh, true bikers right here. Some hardcore bikers, real bikers right there, guys. Oh, 
Hopefully you guys are enjoying this tour. Whew. Again, we're in the West End area of Dallas. You have a lot of restaurants in this area. Go to make a ride on the Mars Street. We'll stay in the designated bike lane just to be safe. Uh, there's the uh, old dart rail. So there it is. Not too shabby. Actually, let's actually let's go this way. Move pigeon, move pigeon, move pigeon. All right, let's see if we can race this dart rail. Nope, we ain't gonna beat it. There it is. Got some magnolia tree there. Go for it. I gotta show you something here in a little bit, which is I think it's pretty cool. Like a lot of these buildings, guys, they connect underground. So we're probably underneath. I mean, we're on top of uh, the tunnel system. So a lot of these, like I said, these buildings are connected underground. Let me go ahead and give you all. Let's go ahead and cross right here. Oh, whoa, whoa, woo. Almost took that one, guys, almost slipped. Thank God for my good biking skills. So this is Thanksgiving Square. And you could actually access the tunnel through here. Excuse me. So this is where you access, they just, uh, let's see if it's even open, let's see, last time I came down here it was open, oh yeah it's not going to be open. Yeah, it's close. Like I said, it's only open during the weekdays. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if this Starbucks is open over here. How's it going? This guy. All right, we got like one, two, three, four, about four or five Starbucks that we could choose to go to. But let's see if this one's open. All right, maybe closed. This is actually part of the underground system that's which are connected with each other. So Starbucks is part of it, which 
is closed and you got all these restaurants under underneath which is part of the underground restaurant system they got here so that's closed we need a ramp let's go up here yeah. caramel apple spice from Starbucks sounds really good right right about now. All right, let's go down here, guys. Let's see. We'll go ahead and get ourselves. Caramel apple spice. It's an awesome drink. I get that every year. It might sound like a uh, seasonal type of drink, but they do make it every year or throughout the year. There's a Royal Blue Grocery. So if we ever need a, a quick grocery session, we come here. Other than that, we just go to Walmart, guys, for our groceries. A whole lot cheaper. Especially with kids, we need we definitely need to save money. So this is it. Starbucks. I don't know if I'm able to take my bike in there. I hate to go in there with my bike. I'm gonna go ahead and go up there. Let's see. Uh, let me see. Let me ask if I can bring my bike. Can I roll my bike in here while I order? Can I bring it here just to order, then I'm out? Okay, cool. I got clean tires, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a caramel apple spice tall, please. What's that? What is that? Oh, man, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I'll take whipped green. Mark. Right, man, it's beautiful out there, dude. Man. I'm trying to, I'm starting to work out, so hopefully. You know what, when I was younger, man, um, I used to ride my bike everywhere, that's how I kept a lot of my weight down. Oh, that's yeah. It's there. good, though, right? It all, yeah, bro, like, it all comes back when you stop. <laughs> right. <laughs> it does, man. No, nah, I'm good. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if I'll be able to ride and hold this chocolate, or hold this caramel apple spice at the same time. Uh oh, they gave me the wrong. I think they gave me the wrong one. Oh. Yeah, they gave me the wrong one. I think y'all gave me the wrong one. Did y'all give me somebody else's? The caramel apple spice? Yeah. I was like, man, I got somebody else's drink. That's what happened last time. I, what was it? Two days ago, somebody got my drink. You want to keep those and have two? Man, if I could, if I had an extra pair of arms, I would, bro. Man, I could barely ride with two hands, man. Oh, you got a camera on there too? Yeah. Just. Oh, dang! Just spilled it all over my arm. Jesus. All right, we're still going. I'm gonna wipe this down. Might have to just walk this one. Uh. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to attempt to ride this bad boy with one hand and drink my drink at the same dang time. <laughs> about it across the street right here see. there's no cars I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna go for it actually let's make a left I'm gonna make a left right here make sure none of these cars 
It's going big time. All right. Ow, I'm spilling all this hot cider on my hand. By the time I get home, I'll be covered with this apple cider. Plus of you. I don't know if y'all could see that big old eyeball right here to the right of me. Look at that, guys. I got, got it all over my hand. Here, let's take a walk over here real quick. How would you guys like to maintain all these shrubs over here to my right? I see a crew come out here maybe twice a week and maintain the little courtyard here. It's all artificial turf, but I see them blowing debris and stuff, guys. But uh, I think about how much how much it'll cost to uh, maintain this courtyard. And I believe the Jewel Hotel across the street owns this place. They definitely have uh, wedding cere ceremonies here and other type of events here. But that would be a nice little property to maintain. Like I said, I've seen a lawn crew come out here maybe once a week for sure, but I know I've seen them here also twice a week so let's go ahead and cross here let's see if we can go through here try to see if I could cut through this building not sure if I'm able to cut through it uh, looks like I can so that being said